So this is tradingview.com and here on the watch list you can put the tickers like here imagine Bitcoin is like BTC and then you have many BTCs and many exchanges. You choose the ones you like. Normally it's Bitstamp but that you can choose. I have here like this is Bitstamp that you have all the history of Bitcoin almost all. There's one called BTX, BLX here that even has from the zero. This one starts on two dollars and and you put here on log scale so and if you take the log scale it's like this if you put log scale it's like this the same but it's logarithm log logarithmic and uh, linear views i use the logarithmic because you have an idea how it how it is personally i still think bitcoin will come to this top here because it still haven't because of the support and resistance you will learn soon for now we have just doing lower like you have we had the 20,000 and then we had the 12,000 and now we are getting lower never went up and this year we in December actually in March early March we have this crash and the price went went above again to the 6,300 where we are more or less now and it's already rejecting this top let's see what it does so I'm speaking a bit fast but anyway this is trading view this is like a month here so each candle is a month if it's green it's because it closed going up if it's red it's closed it closed on the bottom of this this the candle you know you can learn there on the on the videos this is the weekly chart and then you can have one day four hours two hours one hour until one minute so this is the trading months and weeks is long term so because it's its candle is a month or a week and you see how, how is the trend and then we have these lines here they are called moving averages I have all of them the ones that matter and if you see the price respects the, these lines you buy above the lines you sell when they go below the lines, especially in this white one with four up trends and on crashes is this one when this is the weekly chart the same chart but on week if you see the price of Bitcoin you see how, how it reacts but every week to the to this line see if this white line hold the price until 20,000 and suddenly as soon as it goes down this white line you see it starts and it's it's like a trend line you know and and this yellow one and, and red this is the 200 moving average and 200 exponential they are quite strong so they all every time they hold the price since here since $200 you see and then when it cr we crashed again it holds here two times the price tried to go up went down came again to the line never went down I, everyone here was thinking that it came, will come down but it didn't and then we went to, to 14,000 you know from here and you see you can buy on top of here of the white line or you or you can buy on the crash but on this stage when you're here everyone is thinking that it goes down and everyone is afraid of buying it always happens like that because it's very psychological all the trading because you need to think you need to learn that how to read candles on support and resistance and this candle is very strong it's called bullish engulfing candle and it's saying that the market can go up and it went up and then it went down people say okay no this is a fake out and then we come here but no it hold so it's all about risk management you buy on top of the lines you make a stop loss and then you if it goes down you sell and you wait again for another entry basically it's all about that and then here on this top then you see the tops you know you can create support resistance like lines that the price doesn't go up see this top here it was around this top here and this area here also from 2018 see this top here where i am created all this top it tried to go up people were buying and then the price came down with these weeks it's called weeks each candle that the, you have the, the candle like the, the body which is the fat part but you have these little lines which is the price went up and then goes down and it closed here you know on the small ear for instance closed saying that it's going down you see 
and then it tried to go up again, and then this candle again, whoo, pushing it down. So we, we created this top, and until today, it, we never managed to go up. It tried here again, and then back down. And now we are trying to go up again with this big buy, because here we got this buy, like see, the price came to the 3,900. Actually, I bought here on the 4,200, and then the price went up, and I sold already one part here, sold another part here. And actually, now I don't have Bitcoin, actually. I'm just waiting to see the reaction here, to see if I buy again, or I wait and I will buy again here. But I already sold and I made almost 100% profit from here to here. So, you know, and I took profits. And I'm happy already with this trade. And actually, I bought here again, and I sold, but I kept on selling here. When we arrived here, I didn't add, so I already had a little bit of money. But I bought really on the bottom and I bought here again. I managed to sell here. I bought it here again on this crash. Everyone thinking that it went down and then we went up and I managed to buy here. And I sell as soon as I saw that it's not going up with these candles. I waited a little bit and then I sold one part here on the 9,000. Yeah, like 9,800 I sold. And then I sold another part on 9,000 and I suddenly the price crashed and I bought again. So it's all about learning, because here you see that everyone is thinking that it's going up. When you start to see like Twitter accounts with the, the traders and all the market, all the news saying that the price is going up. But no, you need to read the candles and see what it's doing and taking like taking profits or doing the risk management thing. Anyway, you, you will learn this. So the, as you see, the price now came here to this top. Here the price went up. Closed, went up, no, went down, and then went up. As soon as it touched here, went down here. This one went there, came down here. This one tried again, starting to sell. And now it's finally trying to go up again, but it already went here and, and it sold. And now it's, try, it's here on this area, basically, to see if it comes down to this support on this area with a red candle. And we are here and then maybe up or here and maybe down. Or maybe from here we already we can go up. Let's see, because it's like a weekly chart. Today is Saturday. Only on Monday, it's it, a new candle will be on. If the candle will be below another candle or these lines, we go down. If a candle stays above this area or here, it goes up. You know, it's about opening in on top of a support or opening below a support. So that's why. It's how it works, and you will learn that. And the, here on the bottom, we have, this is called RSI, Relative Strength Index. This is an indicator, and this is another indicator that you can put on TradingView. And normally, you buy when the price hits these, the, the dots here, and you start selling where it, on the tops. See? You buy here on the bottom, you start to sell on the tops. And yeah, so it, it's how it works. And especially if on the weekly, then you have the daily chart, see the price much more lines. This is what we have been doing since March, since the crash. The crash was here. Then you see that the candles closed here. So this is the support here. This one came down and then suddenly up and closed above the support. And from here, it, we, are, we keep on going up, see? Even when we go down, we never go really down. So it's always making higher lows, you will learn this, it's called higher low, and it's like an uptrend, and now we have been rejecting this line and trying to find support here. See, it's this one closed, came down, and tonight it closed above this, the, the yellow, the, the white line, which is where you buy normally, see, here, and now it's trying to go up, but because of this rejection, I don't know if we go up just a little bit or until here, who knows, I, know, I don't know the future, but here, this is an area to buy. If it comes down here, this area you sell and you try to buy lower, you know. And it's all about risk management. If you if you always play with risk management, it's very hard to lose money. You can lose a little bit, but you never lose too much because normally I give one percent of of each trade I do. I try to buy on the right spot and I put like a, a stop loss below. If the price comes down, I sell and I wait for another opportunity to buy again, and I always use 1% risk 
on my trades. When you do a trade, it's to, to win more, you know, at least double the price, two times more. So it's, you need to, yeah, you will learn this with the, on those videos. So basically, and here you have the indicators, you can just put them, where is it? Like here, I think it's here. Yeah, you, you, you have here indicators and then you imagine RSI, you come here and you see it, see? And you just press it and it appears there. And then you can tweak it with the colors and everything. I have a few favorites. And because this is a free account, I use this, this thing, Andreas, 8M, 8M, and blah, blah, blah. This depth chart, you need to find it here on the indicators area, Andreas, 8M. Because, because it's a free account, normally you can only put three indicators, but this one, this guy made a script that you, 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 it has everything. So, so that's why I managed to have all these lines, which normally you pay but I managed to get it for free because that guy made the script. So I have all the lines that the price reacts to. And then here on this area where I have the mouse, you know, you open this and here it is, the Andreas 8M. And I can just open it so you can see. I put colors, you know, on each, on each line and each line has an input. And then I have like M1 is like the 12, XT EMA and then I have the 50 MA and 21 and 100 you can see that everything here I'll give you like a screenshot and then you can put if you want to put the same colors it's easier if you want to put your colors it's fine as well so you have that one and yeah and here here you here on this trading view here you you, you have trend line horizontal line vertical line parallel channel, but this is the most important, is the horizontal lines and the trend lines. Why? I will take now this one out. You can just make trades just by reading candles, like you know, and also only by reading candles. You can also work with these lines, the moving averages, and then I'm using this. As you see, this is all, you can see the Bitcoin with the trend lines, which are these white lines I do. Basically, if you find the top uh, and then another top like here, you make a line and then you see like the line keeps on. And every time the price goes there, go comes down, see here, comes down. And then you need to find the support like here. And it's, this is where we are. The price came down here. This, you created this trend line here. And the, we are here. You have many lines here, but anyway, we are here. And you 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 learn how to do it. Like from the past of the of the history of Bitcoin, you can create like on the weekly chart, like all these lines, and you see with the tops, the bottoms, and then it makes lines that the price and the algorithms react to it. So even the twenty thousand dollars here, it's just like you on these tops, like here. And here, these two, two tops created this line that after a few years created the 20,000. And this is, and you put this on the chart and wait a, sometimes a few years to know where are the tops and the bottoms. And you, I have this line here that the, bit, the price didn't come here. And I think Bitcoin will come here sooner or later. The, the, the line is coming, coming up. But because we don't pass through this top, if I see the price closing above this top here, this trend line, maybe we go up. But then we can, Bitcoin is very volatile, so we can go up a little bit and then come down and then we come to this line or this line here, you know, and the price can come maybe even here, you know, we never know. So you can use these lines and then you, when you go to the daily or four hours, you know, it's more easy to understand, see, that this is a four hours chart. You create, you make lines like with the bottoms two or three lines, you know, here. If you imagine that this part wasn't created, like you only see these, imagine. The price went down here, suddenly up, going up, suddenly came back down to touch this support here of this area, then up, and then here you already made, could have made like a trend line with this line. And here when the price went up, down, it touched this trend line and went up to here. It was already like 40% profit. So you create like the bottoms, and you create these lines, like here on the top, see? 
you create this top here imagine this little top here we did that candle with this candle made this line and then created this top here see and now the lines are there this one also one line here one dot here created this top and suddenly here you see the price went touch there and then come down and now where we are now with this bottom here see this one created this line that it comes here it touched it here went up and now back again see it's closing above the price came a little bit down but suddenly up and this is a bullish engulfing with a bit of string and the price is like here up and down trying to decide if it goes up or down but it's on top of this trend line already see you could buy here and put the stop loss here or here and if the price comes down from this area you sell and try to buy here or here you know and you can buy a little bit here another bit here another bit here and then the stop loss here or whatever you will learn this so we are on top of supports you know but the, the best area was here to buy so we are here trying to see what if it does something like this you know because the price is always up and down up and down and the people are they know they don't know if but if it's on top of supports you buy and you sell below these lines you know on the tops or you take percentage you take profits basically so basically you see that all these lines the price reacts to it and yeah and you normally and then you have the horizontal lines which created created tops let me see it's easier chart like here let me see if I have the lines Ethereum see but you can see how the price reacts to the top of see this line that comes from here created this base here this horizontal line and it's here again so you can create these lines from the tops of here here you know it's here and the price doesn't pass but sometimes it passes so otherwise it comes down to the supports so it's all about support and resistance and then you see like here you see you buy here on the on the dots and then you start selling on the tops or taking profits and then you buy on the white line after a crash you know you start to buy on these supports like here see the price every time it comes here goes up tries to come down suddenly goes up here and then suddenly we start to go up see this is a support area this is was the crash this is a support area the price went up suddenly went down and came again here to this area here of support and start to go up and then you, you buy on this top of the white line and then you just let it go and start taking profits or, or selling you know and so and then you can trade like on the 15 minutes if you do, do trades every day you can make money just by selling and buying here on on the 15 minutes each candle it's it's 15 minutes see you can buy here on top of this area sell here or here or there and then the price comes down again to the white line you buy you can sell a little bit there and you and then wait for a crash you know and you just can do like this after a a few time of practice you learn how you can do this but this is mostly algorithms and people buying but computers are buying and selling like on the lines you know and support and resistance um, this is like Dow Jones Dow Jones on, on the if easy, as you see it's the same I'll put a monthly chart so you understand that the stock market compared with Bitcoin it's very very simple I already did like these videos to want to show how the price reacts to the tops see from 1930s you create a base you know with the bottom here there, there are two lines here suddenly when the price crashes in 82 after like 20 years or 30 years they go to these lines and go up and you create this top with this top created this yellow line as you see that top with this top here and the line came here as soon as the price came down it went up there see the price came down as soon as it touches the, this yellow line it went up until today and it never came down so you you see how the price reacts to this top see this top here with this top here 
created this line and here when the price went down see it touched here and here the line and went up and never came down so you understand that the stock market see here now where we are this is from year 2000 and where we are now this is one month each candle the big crash that you saw on the news was just this and it wasn't just like a big crash it was just a little bit but the media creates like they have to sell so you need to look at the chart see this top with this top created this area here it created support and we went up and here check where it came it came here to this area of this support here of this top went down touch this top with horizontal support here and went up but it's also connected with this trend line this trend line that comes from the, the past and it closed above and we are here now and let's see what the price does i think it comes here or a little bit even here and then we came down again and we go to these lines so you can use these areas to buy all these trend lines that you create on the monthly and weekly charts and you can do it on the daily chart as well all these trend lines you can do it like in 30 minutes or whatever but this this is where all the big when there's big crashes see the lines this purple one the price never went down and, as, and then you buy it on the yellow and red the ones i told you and the price as you can see every time it crashes like a big big crash it comes to this purple one and then goes up you don't need to buy here you know suddenly you can buy when it goes above the yellow one and now this the price came to the to this blue one here a little even a bit down because because it was this top now it's coming here but i think we come down sooner or later because of the recession we come again and maybe we are doing this you know comes down up and then as soon as it touches the white line here comes down again and maybe we do this and or stops here or stops there or whatever you know and let's see what it does but i think the stock market created this top here see many times it tried one time and it, it crashed with the corona but the market was already saying that we were going down see and especially i can show you also the s p 500 see the price also with the same kind of lines wait i'm just waiting for the for them to load see we created this one and the price came here and went up and then you create this top here one time doesn't go one time doesn't go we, we crashed and came here and then we created this horizontal here because of this crash here here and then you see how you create this one with this one suddenly the price came here to this line and up and yeah so we are here there's many lines you can create you know from the bottoms and tops and if you see this line here already created the top and we crash it from here you you didn't need the coronavirus it will happen because people need to take profits on the recession and they use the coronavirus to sell more fast otherwise it will it will happen but it maybe will go slower and if you see the price mathematically came to this line here yep I can put I put I can put like now like here like this see this bottom with this week here and then suddenly we crash here and and it closed above there and the price is already holding but let's see if it goes to the top and the tops here you see all the times it tried it came down and for the third time or fourth time from here you see, you see came down so so people are taking profits from this top here and from this area and now it's trying again but i think we come here and then people will sell again and then we come to these lines here and here and this is like i think it, this will be the big buys on the stock market with the recession is it's like if you have like orders waiting with money here and on this line see especially on this area you can put an, a buy order here and a buy order there you know a smaller one here a bigger one here even a bigger one here you know we never know the all it depends on the risk management and then you just wait and it's the stock market even if we start a recession maybe the price starts to go like this you know down 
and then up. And, but it's been like on a bull market since the last year, so people have to take profits on a recession, of course. So this is the buy areas. This is a buy area, buy area, buy area. This one was the first one, but I think we come down again to this one, and then maybe up, and then maybe down again, and then even here, you know, we never know. But you have to react with the candles, see, and the, the price hit hit that area, this blue line, and went up, which was this top basically here, this area of of the top, this area here. And if you put it on like the weekly chart, if you see the price always reacts to the to these lines. See here, the price, and then all that here on this blue one, you can buy here on this area, and then price went up. So this is very easy when you have all these lines. See here, one time up, then it came again, and then you can buy it here, here again, up, and then from this line, and then as soon as we go above the white one, this is like from 73 years, non-stop up, 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 until we have a crash, suddenly up, went up again, and up, 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 and now it's like a really good reaction. See, we went down here. This is like a big red, uh, green candle saying the price is going up from here, and then we are having continuation to here. And let's see if it comes here and come down again, or if we, or if we hold here on this line here, and then up. And to see the, the here on the stock, the RSI, in this indicator, the price came below, you buy it, and then see the price is trying to go up. And maybe we come here again, or here, you know, and suddenly people, oh, it's going up, and then back, back down, you know. It's always, and this is the stochastics also, you buy it on, on the same area, and you sell it as soon as it starts to go to the tops. But it can be on the top for a while, you know. So you need to combine this indicator with this one to understand where you buy. So it's all combined with, with the horizontals, per, perpendicular lines, trend lines, and... And, and and like this, and horizontal lines. So you create channels. If, if you see the price, it's in the channel here, inside that perpendicular line, and this one, up, down, up, down, up, here, up, maybe touch that one, and then back down. You see like the price here, in, inside of this, two, this line and this line, creates a channel. So this is a channel here, up, 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 until it breaks up, and then creates a new one, See, and yeah, I'm speaking a bit too fast, but so you understand, but it's easy when you, with a bit of time and with those tutorials, see the price came here, you buy here, suddenly a big buy already on the top of the white line, you can buy here, you don't need to buy here, you can buy just here, suddenly you go up and then down, hold it on this line now and then a back up and now it's finding resistance on this purple line. So it's, if you see like one or two candles, on the, it, this is one hour, see? One hour candle. It's already trying to push up. Maybe it comes down here, you can buy here on the white line now, and here and here, and then you can put a stop loss below on this area, and wait for the price to come here, you know? And you are waiting, your hopes is that the price comes at least here minimum, you know? And you buy on this area, on this trend line, see? You can buy on this area, waiting for the price to do this, this, or go up, suddenly down, here, 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 and then suddenly up, and suddenly we are here, and you already bought, see? And on these areas, you make the, the stop loss, or here, if you buy here, you can put two or three entries, and then the stop loss here, or you can, don't, maybe you don't do anything, let, let, wait for the price to go up, and suddenly maybe it crashes and come back down here, it's up to you, you know, but normally on this white line you buy and on the big crashes on the on the weekly chart or on the daily chart, on the monthly chart, if it's the, the, the candle closes above the support, you buy and you put the stop loss below. See the price here on the one hour, it's already telling you that it's time to buy, see? It's already here on the top, so the price should come here, back here to these lines here, and then maybe up. See here, you need to wait to buy here on these areas or even like this, you know, or here, <coughs> like here. See the price is already almost down here and this one is already telling you to buy. So 
<coughs> as you can see, the price, how, how it reacts to the tops and on these perpendicular lines. And okay, and then you can put in all the charts. So this is the SPY, SPY, which is the S&P 500. You can put all the stock markets and you can put like all the cryptos. I even have the Euro Rupia. See, Euro Rupia. Rupia is in the worst since 1998. I'll put you like the weekly chart. So this is the price. This is very easy to trade. As you see, this is the currency in Euro, Indonesian, Rupiah. You can put dollars, you can put whatever you want. And um, let me just, let me just, okay, it was loading. See, these two tops here in 2009 of the Rupiah, between euro, create these two tops, and I made this brown line here, see? After a few years, in 2013, four years later, touch the top down, and then you create this trend line, and these bottoms here, see this, the price, how oh, it's so easy to do this, man, look. This bottom, with this bottom, created this line here. After, like, now, in February, and I was doing, I was checking this because I'm actually, I'm advising all the Portuguese here in Bali where to buy and when to buy so they can convert money to, to make big exchanges for, to pay rentals and everything. It's very important. So, see, and this trend line with this one here, see, the price hit it here up, then down as soon as it hits this line here up, it touched there again down. See, it's very easy now. You try to go up because of the, the problems in Indonesia and the COVID, so the rupee lost lots of, 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 of weight. But as soon as I told my friends, maybe we go a bit to the top, but we have to come down, at least to touch these lines and go up again. And, and I told them to sell. And yeah, so I, I swapped here on the 18,000 around here. And, and yeah, now I, the price is coming down already to touch these supports here. I, and I warn everyone that the price is starting to go down. I told them to tr to try to change the euros here while the euro, yeah, it was stronger. So, and now it's coming down maybe to this support, to this support, to the lines basically. And so you see, but and now it comes to this top here with the or these tops maybe, and suddenly maybe we go up one more time here, you know, because the Indonesia. And the market and the the dollar, you know, printing money. They are they have many strength against the smaller coins. So let's see. But this was already from 1998. Okay. And yeah. So as you see, you create these on the weekly charts and monthly charts. And so and then you have to wait a bit of time for to make trades. Sometimes you have to wait months. You know, if you want to trade daily, you go to one hour. Or four hours, see? This is all algorithms, buying and selling. Just computers, see? You can put like four hours. You buy on top of the lines as soon as it goes down, you know? So now the price is coming to these two lines, see? You can buy here and here, or even here. And you see how the price reacts. Now it's the white line, see? It's the rejecting the price. Here it tried again, but suddenly the next candle, the next four hours went down, and now it doesn't pass again. So we are coming here, or here, or here. And then, as soon as you see like like this, the price is coming down and starts to hold on a support, like two or three candles and doesn't go down, suddenly you buy, or you can have like already orders like here on this top. See, it's coming to this top here, or this one, or this top here. We never know, you know? But if you buy here and here, you put a stop loss. If it comes down, you sell, and then you buy again. Or you just have hopes that it goes up. But it, that's the difference between trading and investment. Investment, you wait for the big crash. is like here, you know. This week here says that the price is going up. Then it went down, but it never came down here. And it rolled around on this trend line. And then it went, went like big time up. So, but this, this candle here, it's already saying that there was a big buy order here. And it, then it came down, but rolled it here and then suddenly up. And your stop loss could, it was here, you know. After seeing this, you could buy here. Even if it comes down, you put another order here. Stop loss here. And then it just went up, you know. 
and yeah so um, you will learn all about this with those tutorials and then it's about opening these you know like a chart or if it's bitcoin or like bitcoin you know you open a, a chart and you just put like four hours one hour 15 minutes and you see how the price goes up and down and you start thinking you know if i buy here let me see what the price does see the price is here on the last since today the last hours four 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 like since today it's we are here up and down we don't know if it's going up or down but if it's down, you know, you can buy here, here, and here, and a stop loss like here, for instance. And yeah, and that's it, if you want to buy, you know. It's better to buy like here on support, here, 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 and then stop loss here, for instance. This is four hours, and then you can go to one hour, see what, where the price here, see? The price is being rejected by the white line. And every time it's like trying to go up, here, see, it's very complicated, you never know, but suddenly went down, up, tried, and then back down, you know. This, everyone here was thinking that it was going up. I also thought it was going up suddenly, as soon as it did this, you know, going down, and then we went. And now we are here trying to see if we go up from this area, see, on this purple line, went down, but suddenly all these candles are closing above. This is support, as you see. Maybe it comes here to this little week, that's what I think it might be, maybe come here and suddenly up and then, or you just wait for the price to go like this, you know, wait for the price to go above the white line and then it comes down to test it and then you put an order, while it is up, you know, you put an order below on the white line and you put then the stop loss on different areas, so here you don't need to buy. You can wait for Bitcoin to show a bit of strength, so suddenly maybe it goes like a big red candle here up. You don't buy, you wait for the candle to come down, you put an order like here on top of the white line, and then you just wait. The price can be a little bit up for a while, suddenly it comes down and maybe up again, and you bought, you know. So that's how you do it with all these lines and supports and resistance. Because if you make a resistance, a support here, see, where the candle closes, when the price came down here, it touched here and went up. This was the support, this area here. And you start to learn, like, this close here, it's connected with this area here. Or that week, this support here, it came here and up. And now it's trying to hold on this line to at least come here, you know? So, you see where the areas... The price is always like this, on one hour. If you put, like, 15 minutes, it's even worse. So, this is the same, see, the price was already on the top of the white line, you could have bought here, and you put your stop loss here and here, and then we came down, but it's still holding, trying to go above, but it's not passing, so, so you, but you already have your risk management done, you know. Even if you bought, like, here on top of the white line, thinking that it goes up, but this is the top, as you see, this top here with this, it never passed, so it's like I show that, the price was going down to try to find a stronger support. I believe it might the price might come here to this little week here to test it and then back up like like this, you know. Let me see which week. See this this week here was the, here this one, but this one here it never came. So if I want to do a trade now, I will put an order here and the stop loss here. So if if the price comes here and suddenly up, I bought. If it goes down, I'm out of the trade and I wait for a other area. This is 15 minutes. I can put five minutes. See the price up and down, up and down. It's more complicated to do this. It's better to wait that it goes above this top. If you see, this is a top that the price doesn't go up. I created this horizontal line here. See, with I can come here, horizontal line, you know. And I just draw it here, like can be here, see, I can change the color here, like to white, see, and then you can make it like, like this, or, and then you can just t twist it as you want, so, I don't know, so I put this line, this is the top, see the price, every time it goes there, it goes down, and it's holding here on this trend line, see, this is a channel, 
see the price trying to go up, but I think we still come to this area one more time and then suddenly maybe up and then suddenly we are here. And then you can buy on the, with strength with two candles above here and then the price goes up. So there's many ways of buying, but you are, have to buy when, whenever you, you, when you think it's going down, it's where you, you buy, on, like here. When the price is here, you know, you think it's going more down, but no, you have to see the candles going up and suddenly closing above support and suddenly goes up. So it's very psychological. So for instance, now if I want to make a trade, yeah, this is an area to buy. I buy here, but I, because I see this candle here, I also put an order here, an order here, and the stop loss here. And if, if it, it fails, I'm out of the trade. Or I can wait for this to go up, and then I buy it, buy it on this support here when it goes up. And then when it comes down to test it, I buy, and then maybe the price goes up. And I put the stop loss just below. Okay, so I think I explained a little bit about the candles and all these trend lines where you buy and sell as you see it's very complicated like in the beginning the price is always like algorithms buying and selling you just need to know that okay we are here this is a top that the price never passes here so this is a resistance these weeks that you see the price always going up from these areas this is support here on this area this area is also support and this area too so then you have the liquidity pools, basically mad. And if I buy here and the price is there, I put a stop loss here. So if I put a stop loss here, it's because if the price goes below, I'm out of the trade. And exchanges make money with the stop losses, you know? That's where they make the money. It's taking you out of the trade. That's why the price is always up and down and make these weeks very fast and then back to the same spot to take you out of the trade and back down. Because if you have like, millions of, of money like imagine you have one million dollars like in this stop loss here the price people who are shorting or betting on the market to go down they want to take that order they want to to force you to sell so imagine this so there's a liquidity pool here and a liquidity pool here on these areas you know so many stop losses here like on different risk management percentages so the price might go there to get your stop loss and people short making money because they are forcing you to sell and then they buy it and then the price goes up and you're out of the trade. So that's why you see all these weeks and the price up and down, up and down because it's algorithms and they know where all the big orders are on the order book. So this is it. And then after all this buying and selling, you also have here this is like margin trading that you can bet on leverage much more money that you have. And you can buy, make longs, which is buy and sell, which is like betting that the price goes down. Like here, I have like shorts here and I have buys here and I can even do it here. But if I buy, I buy on this line on this area now or, or here. But I'm just waiting maybe to sell from here or buy even lower. But... If I, if I see some reaction here, maybe I'll just do a trade today. But since because I don't want to do a trade today, yesterday I bought here and I sold here. And then, okay, I just, I, I'm out of the trade and I'm, I'm doing other stuff. But you can leave orders here already with a stop loss already on and also sell orders. But this is like after you learn all the rest. This is very, because you can lose all your money on margin trading and then you can just investigate what is margin trading because you can bet 50 times more what you want what you have or 25 or 10 or 100 even 100 like if you have one thousand dollars here in a 100 x you can make trades for 100,000 or for 100,000 no ten thousand dollars you know only with with one thousand Actually, no, $100,000, but if the price goes 100%, 1% against your trade, you lose everything. So you can lose $1,000 in a second. That's why you need risk management and know how to learn candles and never do 100, 100x or 50x. You need to do like 25, 10, in the beginning, just until 5, because you have more margin. 20... 50x, you only have 2% risk, otherwise you lose everything. 25, this is 
0.5, I think. This is 10%, so you can have 20% like volatility and without losing your money. And that's it, basically. So in the beginning, you have to do like until five, even 10 shades, you need to have a bit of practice. And yeah, and always, always about the stop loss. So this is where, the, that's why the price is like this. It's getting to the, to the stop losses and like these weeks, like this one and this one. See, the price went up, but suddenly down. Many people were here and they, they it forced the people to sell and then the price came down again. And yeah, so that's it. I think it's enough for now. You learn on those videos, all those tutorials. I have my WhatsApp group that I'm, I'm showing trades. And I have a few more videos like explaining how, how you can tweak like this trading view and how the markets work. But I think on this video, I already explained you a lot. But of course, it's much information, many information at the same time. You need time, like a few months, you know, and let, just see, like, you can be like with this chart, look, see how it, it's rejecting the white line right here, but suddenly it closed below this five minute candle and we are coming down to the support. And I think, like I told you, I think the price will come to this week here. Might come, I don't know, or, or just below here and then maybe up or we, or, or we come down here again to get this liquidity pool here and maybe up, we don't know. So you can buy on strength here on top of this area or you can buy on these bottoms from here to here and you, this is buy areas, this is sell areas here. Or you can buy if the price holds above with a few candles above this area. For now it's, it's not managing so it's trying to get buys on the bottom. Okay, so this is an area like a channel here. See, the price is like here suddenly crashes, but then back here to this area up and down, up and down. This is algorithms buying and selling. And the price is like stopped and consolidating in this area to see if it, we go up or if we don't, or go down. See, look at here, the price went up with everyone thought now it's going up, but suddenly down again, starting to close below the lines and boom, back down here. Okay. Cool, let's see if this video managed to, to load on QuickTime. I will upload.